Hello and welcome to the video. Have you been captivated by tales of Paris? Have you dreamed of exploring the boulevard and visited landmarks such as the Eiffel Tower, Lac de Triomphe or the Louvre? How about riding on the metro or seeing the Moulin Rouge? How about all that and the added romance of Paris in the 1900s? Don't leave your seat, folks, because the SL Paris Grand Tour is leaving right now. And when it's done, you can go and do your own. We'll take a short taxi ride and visit the Eiffel Tower. You can't come to Paris and miss seeing it, so it's got to be first on the list. The taxi driver will let you ride for free because he's pretty nice, but I felt his attention to safety, and by that I mean the excessive horn hooting, required a few lindens. After arriving in the vicinity of the tower, I didn't get very far before I was waylaid by souvenirs. I know all my friends would just love a miniature copy of the Eiffel Tower. After finally turning away from the souvenirs, the first thing I saw was Lark de Triomphe. It's so impressive, I had to take a quick look. I was really surprised to see Charles Godefroy's flight through the arch in a biplane. I thought I'd never see that. Finally, though, I did get to the Eiffel Tower, which was stunning. I'm not going to bore you by showing me walking up the endless steps. Actually, I took an elevator, but let's pretend I walked it. At the top, the view is spectacular, and you can go down the way you came up, but there are other options. One is a zip line, which I thought I'd try. Well, that was a mistake. First of all, I had to jump over the heads of a couple to get to it, and then it decided to contort my body into all sorts of shapes as I magically held on to it. The view was fantastic though, but I got off as soon as I safely could. It's distracting when you can't feel you're holding on to anything. Once I managed to get to ground level, I headed to Notre Dame, which is another must-see. The rose window is so gorgeous. I wanted to go inside too, and I confess, but not literally, that it felt really serene. It's definitely worth a visit.
from the sublime to the not quite so sublime, a visit to the Moulin Rouge is in order. First, though, a ride on the Paris Metro. Trains are every five minutes, but I was lucky in that I didn't have to wait very much at all. That was a nice way to finish up the day, but I still hadn't seen everything I really wanted to, so I was back the next day to visit the Louvre. The real-life Louvre is one of my favourite museums, and it was lovely to see pictures of the exhibits you'd find in the real one, and in all their, um, glory, so to speak. If you get a chance to go to either the SO or, if you're lucky, the RL Louvre, do so. Your mind and eyes will thank you. To finish up my trip back to Paris in the 1900s, I took a ride on the Grand Rue de Paris, which was the tallest wheel in the world when it opened. Another fantastic view of the city, of such a fantastic city that is so worth visiting. If you can't get there in real life, then now you know that you can in SL. And so that brings us to the end of the video. As usual, there is always more to see, and the attention to detail in Paris 1900 is really something, so it's worth seeing. 
Check it out sometime and take a partner if you can. It's a truly romantic city, even when it's made of pixels. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments below and please do subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.